Hello everyone, I am the Lonely Hunter and uh, if I ever wanted to reset my stats, if I ever wanted to start fresh, I would probably play some TDM because um, it is a really easy game type and uh, you could easily maintain some high stats. There are only a few games here and there that I underperform but uh, this is just some detail. And uh, I wouldn't really like to talk a lot about the gameplay, I would like to talk about the news that uh, are spreading because there is a lot to talk about right now. Gamescom is here and uh, I've been watching live streams like crazy, that is why you might see some inconsistency in the upload hours and uh, probably this will continue as the week goes on because this is a really huge week for gaming. Now, I have watched the PlayStation press conference for the PS4 and uh, I gotta say that I am impressed. I am really impressed by the system, by the interface because we've seen the interface in action and uh, it was seamless, it was really fast. I liked the way that you could join a multiplayer game and this is what I liked a lot. We also know about the release dates. We know that uh, in the US it is going to release uh, on November the 15th and in Europe it is going to release on November 29th. So there is that release window where the launch titles will come out and uh, we're gonna enjoy a lot of games. I have seen also some really interesting indie games that uh, will be coming free to all the PlayStation Plus members and uh, this is an advantage, this is uh, a really great thing. Since uh, I am planning to get the PS4 first, I'm really happy about that. Now on the Call of Duty side, Today there will be probably a live stream that um, will showcase more of the multiplayer and uh, I like to see more ghosts multiplayer gameplay, I like to see more things justified and uh, I also like to see more things unlocked in that game. We will see the blitz mode for sure and uh, we will see another map called Chasm which will be really great. I think that uh, we have seen some bits of that map uh, in a trailer but uh, I am not really sure about it, we will see it in gameplay right here and uh, another thing is that uh, we know that Call of Duty Ghosts will have dedicated servers on the Xbox One and I don't know if this is uh, a console exclusive but probably not because uh, PlayStation 4 has the ability to host dedicated servers just with the power of the cloud so why not now let's talk a little bit about this let's talk a little bit about the dedicated servers now the servers as they are right here on uh, the xbox 360 on the ps3 are peer to peer and uh, this basically means that uh, anyone with uh, any connection can join anyone and uh, probably his connection might not be that smooth because uh, only one guy will be the host of the lobby. It is going to be a random host that uh, probably has um, the best ping or the best connection at that particular time but uh, this will change as uh, many people start to join the game as uh, the lobby changes and uh, it is really hard to make uh, a match like that it is uh, really hard to balance the connections in a peer-to-peer -peer server because there will be a lot of inconsistencies now with uh, a dedicated server if you have a fast internet connection and uh, you join a server that uh, is close to your region where you have um, a really good ping then you will probably have uh, a really smooth experience and uh, this will do justice to most of the high connections out there because the highest your connection the best quality of the match you will get so there will not be a time where you will say that your connection is unfair especially if you pay a lot of money to be one of the best in your region in terms of internet speeds so I like dedicated servers, I would like to see them go multi-platform, I am waiting for a confirmation for this one, really hyped for the rest of Gamescom, if you want to check out all of the live streams please do so because this week is really big for all gamers, I will see you guys later, I am out, peace! Job.